Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311 and this is your one channel for everything VR related. Today we're taking a look at one of my favorite VR hidden gems and that is Silicon Rising. Before we get into it, I do want to mention that I am giving away one free copy of this game to an active member of my Discord channel. So if you end up liking what you see, click the link in the description to join. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment on your thoughts, and consider subscribing and dinging that bell. Okay, let's get into this. So Silicon Rising, formerly known as Mercenary 2 Silicon Rising, was recently listed onto Steam. But I've actually been following this game for almost a year. It's an arcade style VR shooter that's extremely intense, absolutely gorgeous, and physically exhausting at times. It's releasing on Steam Early Access in February, with 5 of the 6 levels completely playable, and a full release expected within 6 months. The game supports all major headsets including HTC, Oculus, Valve, and Windows Mixed Reality. From an innovation standpoint, Silicon Rising isn't really bringing anything new to the table. And at its core, it's a node-based wave shooter. They did, however, manage to throw in a nice amount of variety to each level. You'll find yourself on sniper-only missions, in-car shootouts, and fighting huge bosses. At times, Mission 3 to be specific, this game can actually be physically exhausting, with constant lateral and horizontal movement as you dodge in and out of cover. The game is also quite hard. I've died more times than I would like to admit while playing on easy. Level 2 is actually being tweaked for its difficulty level, and with good reason because I found it nearly impossible to complete. But two things really stand out in this game. One, the graphics are excellent, and two, the game is just plain fun. And this is actually one of the 20 titles that uses Nvidia's new variable rate super sampling for that extra crispy graphical goodness in your visual sweet spot. Mechanically, the game is very simple. You have a gun in each hand and basically you just have to manage your reloads and try not to get surrounded by the enemy. There will be additional weapons and health that pops up throughout the map and after you clear an area of enemies, the game will fade out and fade you back in moving further into the map. You can use room scale locomotion and there are nodes that you could teleport back and forth from. Now the reload time and teleportation cooldown are actually pretty high in this game, making the management of when you move and when you reload the most important mechanic in this game. Additionally, you will be ducking behind cover and jumping out of the path of bullets a lot. Now as simple as this may sound, it still equates to some really fun gameplay. Now the storyline on the other hand, while it has some cool scenes, it's currently underbaked and feels like it needs a larger budget to truly realize its potential. It's also apparent at times that this wasn't written by a native English speaker as some of the dialogue just comes off a bit strange. If you play through this game on easy, have some patience and luck, you can make it through those first five levels in around two hours. And there is a leaderboard if that's your style. Currently, I'm anxiously awaiting what's in store for level six, but I would also love to see them add a dojo style level for added replayability. You know, the type of level with increasingly more difficult waves of enemies, and you basically just see how long you can last. That would instantly turn this game into something like Space Pirate Trainer, making it great to showcase VR to your friends, and it would add a significant amount of value to this game. But even if this doesn't happen, I do recommend you guys keep an eye on this title. Add it to your Steam wish list, and I'm sure you'll be seeing one more video from me by official release time. If you're actually interested in straight gameplay, I recorded my entire session, so just let me know in the comments and maybe I'll upload some. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys on next time.